Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're on Highway 60, heading into Sholo. It's early morning. We're going to have a fun drive. We're going to go all the way down Highway 60 to Globe, Arizona. Sholo in the whole area is just big, wide open, beautiful country. This is in uh, northern Arizona on the eastern side. It's definitely snow country over here, but you get cooler weather in the summer. A lot of people from Phoenix and the lower deserts flock up here every summer. Enjoy the cool weather. Okay, this is uh, Sholo. We're going to cut through town right here on Highway 60. Once we get down 60 a ways, we'll cut through the Salt River Canyon, which is absolutely stunning and beautiful. So, buckle up. We say, let's go for a cool ride. You can see a lot of cafes, motels, you know, Highway 60, it's a long road that cuts through a lot of different states, New Mexico, Texas. A couple years ago I drove a big chunk of it but I never took this section up here from Sholo down it's very windy once you get down into the canyon if you look at it on the maps but it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful property sales up here have just absolutely boomed over the last uh, few years too it's a cool getaway up here. And they got all the stores. I mean, Sholo's probably the main town for this entire region. Holbrook is to the north. Route 66, uh, I-40, all that. And uh, Phoenix, it's really not that far. This route here, we're right around 90 miles down the globe. And then probably about 140 or so down to Phoenix. Taking the van down to... Uh, get it serviced too. Pitch your perfect weather. Actually the entire state of Arizona it's below temps. Okay up here uh, 260 peels off. It would take you back over towards Payson that direction like towards Camp Verde pace and all that but we're going straight stick on highway 60 here okay here we go we're out of town Hard to believe it's June already, my goodness. First part of June. Okay, this is a state route, fast pace. I'll film what I can. It's kind of hard on some of these roads. Got to keep up with the flow of traffic. But sit back, enjoy the ride. Big tall trees yet. Pretty, pretty area. 
All of Arizona, just like the rest of the West, uh, got... Whoa, that guy's going, huh? Wow, Corvette, huh? Now that's a way to travel a windy road. Get you a little sports car like that. Anyway, uh, all this uh, area got a lot of snow this year, so all the reservoirs are full, they're over full. I've seen on like the local news where Salt River is just flowing. There's a rest area when we get down to the bottom of the canyon that's supposed to be able to have uh, pretty good views and access to the waterfalls down there. I think it's called Apache Falls. Break check area. We'll stop. You can't, I can't show it uh, yet, but right off to the right, there's a big canyon. <laughs> Everything's still nice and green. Try to see if we can get a look at it. Here it is. Stop for a minute. I can see pathways here. Okay, this will be perfect. I like getting out early in the morning, nice and cool. Actually, it's almost cold up here. We're still up in elevation. It's 62 degrees, something like that. Oh, wow, I can hear cows. <laughs> They're echoing through the canyon. Look at this, huh? Here's your early morning view. I can hear the river running down there. Wow, isn't this pretty? That's a long ways down there, too. Hear the cow? This echoes. Who knows where he's at down there? That's funny. <laughs> Well, too cool for school. We're going to be in for a very scenic drive. Well, good. Let's get back to the van. We're going to keep on trucking. Isn't this cool up here? Take one last look. Nice and green yet. Traffic's picking up, of course. Speed limit on here is 65. Pretty decent road so far. Now we're going to drop down through this canyon. If 
get a chance, uh, go to RVRTV.TV. Sign up for the free newsletter. We got free uh, digital download pictures, screen savers. Plus, we got all kinds of merch, activity books, cookbooks, all kinds of cool stuff. So, once again, check out RVRTV.TV. They just cut this road right through this canyon, didn't they? Imagine Mount of Engineering. This is an old road. Highway 60 dates way back. Way back to like around Route 66 and all that. Heavily traveled. And we got a little gas station up here on the left. We're on the Reservation land, this is Indian Reservation. Good chunk of this area. Stop and get some fuel, snacks. I think that's about the only gas station on this stretch. Well, that's what it looks like off to the side. Nothing but trees and open land. We're still dropping down. Looks flat through here, but we're still going down elevation. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that falls down at the bottom of this thing. One thing up here, unfortunately, is fire danger. You know, they say with all the wet weather, the early growth when it dries out, might get some fires. It's just part of it, especially in the monsoons. You know, the monsoons start in July. That's where you get all the big thunderstorms and lightning. Then the fires will start up from the lightning. When you think about Arizona, you don't think about that kind of weather either, but it, it's here. Now we're starting to drop down even more. Seen a lot of horse trailers this morning. Quite a few RVs, too. Not a bad ride so far, though. A little fast pace, but it's okay. Just a sea of trees as far as you can see there, huh? Highway 60 winds right through it. If you get a chance, you gotta drive this stretch though. As for pulling an RV, you can. It's just gonna be slow and you'll have some grade to pull. Rain starting to change a little bit. Shouldn't be too much farther. We'll be down to the river. It's 
What's that sign? Another break check area. We'll stop, take a break a second. One thing, we haven't seen too many big trucks, huh? Okay. Oh, here's a sign. Salt River Canyon, we're going to enter it. Yay. These other signs on the fence, we only got five miles to the bottom, down to the river. Then get to check out the falls. Okay, well, let's keep on rolling. Almost there. Plus, once we get down the globe, we'll go downtown. It's a Sunday, shouldn't be too many people. We'll walk around town down there. Make it a good day of travel. An RV or TV. There's a view from the side. River's way down at the bottom of that canyon. Rest area coming up. Yay. Almost there. Pretty windy through here. We're doing uh, some switchbacks. Actually, straight across, you can see the road going up the other side. Rest area, one mile, we're almost there. Yeah, what a drive. I highly recommend taking this for if you want a day trip. I think down near the falls there's a campground. Plus there's camping all over up in this area. A lot of boondocking areas too. Yay, made it. Here's the bridge. Yep, there's the camp areas off to the right. We're going to cross the mighty Salt River, and there's the rest area. We'll, we're going to stop. Check this out. Oh, yeah, the river's really running. Cool. Once again, we were blessed with a really good winter. Started in February and kept on going. The whole west coast. Lake Meads fell in, Lake Powell, all of them. Salt River Canyon Rest Area. A friend was telling me this is 
just a must see here. Got pretty good access, good views. Really hear the water going. So they got restrooms, pretty big parking area. Pictures about the Native Americans, their history here. Welcome to the Apache Lands. Look at this, the San Carlos Apache. Info about them. And the White Mountain Apache. Interesting. Looks like we can walk right out on the bridge too. Oh wow, look at the, there's the rapids, the falls. Another horse trailer, all kinds of them. Look how scenic, you got the river, the falls, big old rock face cliffs. But there's some good fishing down there too, huh? Little ways down there, huh? You know, when I come to places like this, I always think about years and years ago for all these bridges and everything were here, how they crossed, all that stuff. Total history here. This is quite the setup. So that campground up here must be pretty cool. You'd be right on the water. They probably got rafting, all kinds of cool stuff here. Well, get over this side, take a look over here, zoom in with the phone. Very impressive. I wouldn't mind camping down here. I gotta come back here. That's a lot of water. That's, you know, the Salt River, it feeds uh, Phoenix. Quite a bit of water. You know, they rely on the Colorado, but this Salt River is important too. Quite a few reservoirs connect with this thing. But look at that canyon. Perfect. Well, we say we'll get loaded up in the van, head towards uh, Globe. Go scope out downtown. Boy, the wind's just really gusted just now. Climbing out of here, I ho hopefully we can find a cool little lookout. We'll get another shot at the canyon. Road's been decent. They got a lot of passing lanes on here too, so it doesn't bog down too much.
Oh, runaway truck ramp. Ooh, look. Cool. We can stop here. This ought to be a good view. Yeah, it's pretty steep. That's a short little runaway ramp. Oh, man. Yeah, it'd do the job, I guess, if you had to. <laughs> Take a look over the edge here. Well, looks like our wildflowers are about done. They're starting to go away, get too dry. But let's check out the view. Well, there's the mighty Salt River. Those dirt roads zigzagging down the hills. I bet mine, mining, all that back from the old days. There's the highway. We just traveled down through there. It shows you how windy and how far down you come. Doesn't look like that when you're coming down, no, huh? Then right over there is the bridge and all that. Yeah, you hit that runaway ramp. You got a wall you got to crash into, but still better than going over the edge, huh? <laughs> Pretty fancy stonework on that thing, too. All right, what do you say? Let's head to Globe. Sure tell we're getting out of the mountains, it's starting to heat up. Get pretty warm. I'll probably camp out in Globe somewhere and then uh, in the morning I thought we'd go up to Lake Roosevelt and Roosevelt Dam, explore around there. I've never been up there myself. All right, here we are. Entering Globe, Arizona. About a year and a half or so ago, I came up and filmed. I actually had a great access to the courthouse, the old haunted courthouse. All kinds of cool stuff. Be sure you check out that video. Well, what do you say? We'll just go downtown, do a little walk around here. Pretty good sized town here. They got RV parks, camping, massive copper mine. Absolutely massive. Also, what, a couple years ago, they had a fire that threatened uh, the town here. Pretty uh, intense fire. This is uh, still U.S. Highway 60 West. Right up here, so there's across the bridge, we can get in Old Town. Very historic, do a walk around. We are another horse trailer too. <laughs> Must have been some kind of an event horse event. Maybe a rodeo up in Cholo or something. Ooh, big mural. I've been here before, like I said, a year and a half ago. There's a public parking area. I'll park down there. There's that old haunted courthouse. Look at that thing. Been there a long time. Plus there's a jail behind it. 
a lot of history. Now the first two or three floors is a big art museum, gallery. They sell very high-end artwork. Cool church right there. All right, let me get parked. We'll do a walk around. train station there, everything brick. You can see it's still early morning yet. <laughs> I love getting out early. And here's a map of the downtown area. They got just a ton of stuff here. Shopping, attractions, a museum. Very old buildings. One little stop. Plus, you're in elevation up here a little bit. You're above the valley heat. So it's not quite as hot here. Pretty cool looking old building, old church there. Huh? Well, let's do a little walk around. Coffee shop up here. I like all the big windows. Like years ago, or they people put all their wares in the windows. You, window shop. <laughs> that one's for rent. It's full of merchandise, though. But Glow does it right. They keep up the old history. Hair salon there. But this old courthouse up here, the Ghost Adventure Channel or TV shows filmed in there a few times. Really put a claim to fame on that old building. Last time I didn't catch it, this jail, this old jailhouse right behind the courthouse. Look at that walkway up there. That's how they used to walk the prisoners and the court was on the top floor. I can't get in this time, but uh, check out that video from, uh, I'll put the link down in the description, my last Globe video, and it shows that inside this uh, courthouse. Plus all of the art gallery, pretty world class. There's a nice young man, he has a woodworking business underneath the courthouse here. But look at that walkway. These buildings date back into like 1900 or something. And still standing all the Stonework. They've really uh, put some improvements and kept this thing going. What perfect weather right now. Cool looking mural. Oh, look at the kitty cat. He's living in the gutter here. <laughs> Saying, hey, what do you got to eat? All right, well, we'll head back towards the van.
Yeah, this building. This guy's a collector with movie props or something. Look at all the stuff in here. Just a collector. <laughs> Pretty cool. Be fun to actually be able to get inside and really see what's in there. Everything and anything. What else we got? Insurance. Just a ton of cool stuff. Oh, look at this. Look at the skeletons playing the piano. <laughs> oh, man. Speed limit 45. Now that's some. <laughs> oh, more of them. Look at that. Playing checkers or something. <laughs> Nineteen oh nine, so that gives you an idea. You know, this town had a ton of money with all the copper mines, everything. It's probably really a boom town back in the day. Well, pretty good. What a nice drive this morning. Leaving Cholo, I think miles-wise is about 90 miles. Maybe a hair less uh, from Cholo down to here. There's a RV park I'm going to try to get into. Also, there's a Walmart I can stock up. Once again, I'm taking the van in. This recalls on it some general service nothing major because we're getting ready to hit the road for the summer getting real close to it one thing about Arizona northern Arizona like this white mountains there's history everywhere Get up here and explore it. It's endless. All the way down to Tucson, all the way down to the border. Then like going up to Sholo, Holbrook, all those towns, all through the White Mountains, just beautiful. Also, go to RVRTV.TV, sign up for my newsletter, monthly newsletter. We put it out on the 5th of every month. You'll see all kinds of new stuff about upcoming travel. Also, uh, sign up for uh, the free downloads, screen savers. Then we got all kinds of merch, activity books coloring books all kinds of cool stuff t-shirts mugs help support the travel that's RV or TV TV okay next video not too far from here I think it's about 20 miles is Lake Roosevelt in the Roosevelt Dam I've never been up there so I think early in the morning before we drop all the way down into Phoenix we're gonna go explore. Oh, there's the boat. <laughs> we'll follow the boat. Journey continues. Talk soon.